Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss fluoxetine. Depression is one of the condition which is associated with sadness and decrease in the mood. But in our daily life, we can observe many of the times we have the symptoms such as loss of mood, sadness, negative thinking, but they may be temporary associated with a particular condition. In the clinical depression, we can observe the symptoms which are persistent. For instance, clinical depression is associated with symptoms such as low mood, feeling of guilt, less hopefulness, they are not having the positive thinking. And the symptom is the overthinking where people are going to think more even for a simple solution. Apathy, lack of initiation, lack of interest to do anything even loss of libido, sexual desire and low appetite resulting in the decreased intake of food. All these are the collective symptoms of depression which are observed for longer periods. So these symptoms when persist in the patients for longer period, it is classified as major depressive disorder MDD. To treat this major depressive disorder, so many types of antidepressants are available and among them fluoxetine is one of the drugs which can be used to control this major depressive disorder. And this drug belongs to the category of SSRI, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. This fluoxetine is not only used to treat the depression, but it can be used for various clinical conditions. This drug can be used in the treatment of anxiety disorders such as obsessive compulsive disorder. This is one of the anxiety disorder associated with any obsessions or compulsions in doing the activities which increase the anxiety and agitation in the patients. In such conditions, we can use various types of anxiolytics, but nowadays SSRIs proved more effective in treatment of anxiety disorders. So fluoxetine is one of the drugs which can be used to treat this obsessive compulsive disorder which is commonly known as OCD. Similarly, this drug can also be used for another anxiety disorder, panic disorder. This is the condition where anxiety is associated with panic symptoms like sweating, tremor, increase in the heartbeat. All such conditions associated with anxiety can be controlled by fluoxetine. Similarly, this drug can be used for another condition, bulimia nervosa. This is one of neuronal disorder which increases the neuronal excitation resulting in the enhanced appetite leading to excessive eating. Again in such conditions fluoxetine can be given to control the neuronal activity they will reduce the appetite within the patients. So these are the various clinical indications of fluoxetine it can be used for the treatment of major depressive disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, panic anxiety disorder and bulimia nervosa. This drug can be used both in the adults as well as in the children but within the children this drug should be given with age greater than 8 years. So today in this video we are going to see how this drug acts, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses and its chemical nature all these things we will discuss in this video. So first of all let us the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of fluoxetine and here we can observe the amine group is present which is the principal functional group. So let us give the numbering. This is 1, 2, 3. So simply it is a propanamine with amine group at the first position. So we can write this as propane 1-amine. Now nitrogen is having the methyl group. So we can write this as N-methyl. Third position phenyl ring is present. So 3-phenyl. And again at the third position phenyl group is attached through the oxygen. So 3-phenoxy. Now to this phenyl group at the para position trifluoromethyl group is present so 4 dash trifluoromethyl that is a complete name of fluoxetine. Now let us see the precautions of fluoxetine. Just like many of the antidepressants fluoxetine can also affect serum sodium levels. This fluoxetine can inhibit the anterior pituitary such that it can reduce the release of antidiuretic hormone. This antidiuretic hormone is responsible for absorption of sodium but when this ADH levels are reduced it can affect the absorption of sodium through the renal system. Now sodium is not reabsorbed instead it is more excreted within the urine. So this results in one of the condition hyponatremia the decreased sodium levels within the plasma. 
and the sodium levels within the plasma may be reduced less than 110 millimoles per liter which may induce few of the conditions like asthenia, lack of energy, confusion, even loss of memory. So in such conditions, fluoxetine should be carefully given and this drug should be carefully combined with other drugs which again produce the hyponatremia. For instance, loop diuretics can produce the hyponatremia. So with such drugs, fluoxetine should be carefully combined. And the effect is on the appetite. Already we have seen that fluoxetine can be used in the conditions like bulimia nervosa where it can reduce the excessive eating. But when this drug is used in the depressive patients or patients with any anxiety, still this drug can affect the appetite result, resulting in the decreased appetite. So due to this effect, fluoxetine can produce some weight loss in the patients. So this anorexia produced by fluoxetine is somewhat advantageous in the patients with bulimia nervosa. But in other patients, it may produce unexpected weight loss which should be closely monitored. Similarly, fluoxetine can affect the blood vessels. If this blood vessel is damaged, then fluoxetine can increase the risk of bleeding, resulting in abnormal bleeding. This is very important when this fluoxetine is combined with other drugs such as anesites. Few of the anesites can increase the risk of bleeding. For instance, aspirin is one of the anesites as well as antiplatelet agent, which can reduce the platelet aggregation, resulting in the enhanced hemorrhage in the patients. Similarly, if you have the anticoagulants like warfarin can also increase the risk of bleeding. So when fluoxetine is combined with these drugs, the abnormal bleeding is further increased. So these drugs should be carefully used along with fluoxetine. And their precautions, the serotonin syndrome commonly observed with many of the antidepressants affecting the serotonin levels. Fluoxetine can also increase the risk of serotonin syndrome so it can produce few of the symptoms such as increased anxiety and agitation in the patients. It can also increase the tachycardia, increased heart rate. Few of the psychotic symptoms such as hallucinations can also be induced during the serotonin syndrome. And patients can observe some tremor. All these effects can be observed with fluoxetine due to development of serotonin syndrome. Since many of the drugs acting on the CNS can induce the serotonin syndrome, such as MAO inhibitors, SSRIs, SNRIs, TCAs, all these drugs should be carefully combined with fluoxetine as these combinations may further increase the serotonin syndrome. Similarly, during the early days of treatment with fluoxetine, this drug can increase the symptoms of depression. Normally, it is an antidepressant drug, but during the initial treatment, it increases the depressive symptoms. And after two to four weeks of the treatment, it produces antidepressant activity. It can reduce the depressive symptoms due to delayed pharmacological actions. So during the early days of therapy, fluoxetine can increase the depression, which may increase suicidal tendency within the patients. So suicidal initiation is one of the important limitation of SSRIs. So fluoxetine should be carefully given and the patient should be closely monitored for any symptoms of enhanced suicidal tendency. And this effect is more observed in the adolescents with age less than 18 years and in the young patients with age 18 to 24 years, this suicidal initiation is more pronounced with use of fluoxetine. So such group of people should be closely monitored to reduce the risk of suicidal initiation. And because of increased depressive symptoms, fluoxetine can also increase the anxiety, irritability, some aggressiveness, insomnia during the early days of the treatment. Generally, these symptoms are reduced after a few days of the treatment. If they are not reduced, then the significance of this treatment should be monitored. Being acting on the CNS, fluoxetine can also increase the risk of seizures. So in those patients with any history of seizures, this drug should be carefully given. And finally, this drug is used to treat the depression, but it can also produce the opposite effect resulting in the mania. So it can increase the manic phase in the patients if it is used in the bipolar depressive disorder. Now let us see how this drug acts. Presynaptic serotonergic neurons store one of the neurotransmitter 5-HT. This 5-HT can be released and it can act on postsynaptic neurons which are expressed with 5-HT receptors such as 5-HT2. 
Now, when the presynaptic nerve terminal is excited, it can activate the calcium channels. So, calcium can enter through these channels, resulting in the exocytosis and release of 5-HT. Now, 5-HT can act on the postsynaptic receptors, leading to activation of postsynaptic neurons. But the action of released 5-HT is further controlled by one of the transporter, SCRT, serotonin reuptake transporter. Through this transporter, serotonin can be taken again back into the nerve terminal. Now, fluoxetine is one of the drugs which can increase the serotonergic transmission by blocking this reuptake. Now, fluoxetine can block this SCRT such that the 5-HT cannot be taken back into the nerve terminal and it is retained within the synaptic cleft. So, because of action of fluoxetine, the 5-HT levels are increased which results in the enhanced postsynaptic activation. In this way, Fluoxetine can increase the serotonergic transmission, which reduces the symptoms of depression. Now, let us see the side effects of this drug. As we have seen, serotonin can reduce the appetite. So, loss of appetite is one of the important symptoms that can be observed with the fluoxetine. It can also increase the sweating, anxiety during the early days of the treatment, and anticholinergic side effects such as dry mouth, flu-like symptoms resulting in sinusitis, rhinitis can be produced by this drug. And even it can produce insomnia, lack of sleep. Other side effects such as ejaculation, abnormal ejaculation can be produced by fluoxetine resulting in sexual dysfunction and it can also produce asthenia, lack of energy. And this drug can also produce some abnormal dreams, some illogical dreams can be produced by use of fluoxetine. So these are the common side effects that are observed by use of this drug. How it is given? Fluoxetine is available as a capsule, which is immediate release capsule at different strengths such as 10 mg, 20 mg and 40 mg. It is also available as extended release capsule, which is available at a strength of 90 mg and because of high dose, this drug is given once weekly. But the immediate release capsules are given at different doses based on the clinical indication. For the treatment of major depressive disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder, fluoxetine is given at a dose range of 20 to 80 mg per day. So, it is initially started at 20 mg and the dose can be increased after few weeks of the treatment. But when the dose is increased above 20 mg, it should be divided into the two doses, morning and night. And the maximum dose is given as 80 mg per day. Similarly, for panic disorders, the dose is variable from 10 to 60 mg per day. So, initial dose is 10 mg and the maximum dose is 60 mg per day. For the treatment of bulimia nervosa, this drug is given at 60 mg per day. So, initially it is started at high dose to control the neural activity and to reduce the excessive eating within the patients. So, that's about this drug fluoxetine which is a SSRI, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor which can be used to control the major depressive disorder. But this drug can also be used to treat anxiety disorders such as obsessive compulsive disorder and panic anxiety disorder. Finally, this drug can also be used for the treatment of bulimia nervosa resulting in the excessive eating where this drug can reduce the appetite thereby it can reduce the intake of the food. Hyponatremia, abnormal bleeding and sexual dysfunction are the important side effects produced by fluoxetine. And this drug can increase the suicidal tendency, which should be closely monitored, particularly in the young and adolescent patients. Loss of appetite is one of the important side effects resulting in weight loss. So that's about this drug, fluoxetine. Hope this video is useful to you. So please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. And please do share this video with your friends and click the bell icon to get the notifications on upcoming videos. So that's for today. So in our next video, we will meet with another interesting topic. Thanks for watching this video.